Okay, she's gonna be okay. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what? Does this always happen? Hey! Okay. Are you ready? Hey! Hey! So today we decided that I am gonna do my March favourites for this yeah. month because we're at my house today. So, and Shannon will do one on her channel, yeah. Glamour Doll, anyway. Everything is in the bar below. <laughs> Um, so yes, let's get started. Yeah, and I am gonna, because I obviously put makeup on Harriet, I'm gonna explain why I like it for her. Ooh. And sometimes I will borrow her products anyway, so I'll explain why I like yeah. it too. Okay, um, we'll start off with the not makeup products. Um, the first thing is this Tresemme uh, Volume and Lift Mousse. I think it's really good. It comes out really fast. Like, tsh, um, it's really moussey. <laughs> <laughs> and it just gives amazing volume to my hair, basically. Really? I want to yeah. try that, because my hair's always so, like... When I dry my hair, I, like, go upside down and, like, scrunch my hair up, and it goes really curly. I haven't done it. It's not very curly today, actually. And it's really good. It, it holds, and it gives it loads and loads of volume. And, yeah, I really like this. It's good. I don't remember how much it was. It's probably from, like, Asda or something I bought it. Is this L'Oreal <laughs> Sublime? I will use it, and I I anticipate that it's going to be amazing. Anyway, don't put that in. Um, <laughs> the truth, okay. you need. This is the L'Oreal Paris Sublime Bronze, which spray we on tan. Yeah, which we will have a video on because we're going to do demonstration. I'm going to apply it on Harriet. Um, it says streak free, no self tan smell, which is why I got it because I hate the stink of self tan. Um, yeah. So it says that it doesn't smell, we, we shall see. And it's got this really, really wide application nozzle, which is meant to give a really even turn. So you just basically start from your hands, go all the way up and down. And then it's for all over your body, but not your face. No. And the advert looked really good <laughs> as well. So yeah. Fresh citrus fragrance, 100% natural looking tan, that's what you want. And I got it in the light shade. But that's not always a good thing. Because sometimes because they don't even turn up on the skin. It doesn't even show, which is bad. Um, third thing, third March favourite, is another hair product. It is the Argan Oil. Um, it's called Argan Gold. It is the nicest smell ever. I love... Oh, that is my... That is... It smells really nice, yeah. If I was going to make a perfume, like become a celebrity and make a perfume, I would make it in this scent. It's got a little, like, squeezy nozzle bit. It's like... What does it smell It's like... It's like... <laughs> Co not cotton. It's like really cotton. vanilla, sweet. Yeah, it's like vanilla. -y. Vanilla, vanilla -y, coconutty, that kind no, of smell. No, it's not coconut. Yeah, I think it has a. T it's more vanilla. Sweet. Vanilla. 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 It's vanilla. more. It's vanilla -y, basically. It's like sweet vanilla, cinnamon, but kind of like tropical. It's like a sweet vanilla -y, tropic smell. Oh, I love it so much. Anyway, it's the Argonel. It's from the hairdress hair design studio London. Which didn't you say anyone got it from like Asda? Yeah, it's so, from. Yeah. It was from Asda for like Fiverr, and it's so good. Basically, you take a little bit. It's like an oily gel. Take a little bit, you like pump it on your hand, and then, and then from the roots all the way down to the tips, you just smooth it through your hair. You can do it when it's dry, or you can do it while it's damp before you blow dry or something. And then it just smooths out all the split ends and it makes it really shiny and it makes it smell amazing. Yeah. I love I it so much. I have that Argan oil at home and I really like mine. I love it. Okay, um, fourth March favourite is another hair product. This is the, oh, Lee Stafford, Lee Stafford that's it. Lee Stafford, um, it's called a really weird thing. Right, okay. Yeah. Lee Stafford Low Fat Cashmere Cushion Blow Dry Jelly Pads and Puffs. Matte style. Matte style. Um, it smells, I want to try that. Can you put it on my like, dry hair? really nice. Um, yeah, you can. I think. Well, it's, right, basically, Wait, can I see it's that? for using before you blow dry your hair. It's just like the argon oil. You put it on your hands and you smooth it through. Basically, it gives it volume, but it also, if you wanted your hair curly, it gives it really defined curls. It's also Lee Stafford, so you know it's good quality stuff, because I love, I do love Lee Stafford things. It also smells really nice. Can I have a smell? Mm -hmm. It smells. Oh! It smells like the rest of the least other stuff. I love it. I don't know how to describe it though. It's like, I really like that sweet. Smell, I do. I love that smell. <clears throat> it's a really sweet smell. It's, it says it's for matte styling. So, I suppose it volumizes, but it doesn't make your hair like crazy. You apply it as crazy. a blow dry solution for some cushioning yes. to pad out so the hair. So, basically, volume and stuff. But I have plenty Probably of to make it actually. even. Like yeah. 
Um, you apply it too evenly to wet hair, so I don't think you can use it on dry hair. No. Oh wait. Then oh no no. no. It basically just gives a really nice finish to my hair, and I've been using it every time I blow dry. So yeah, these stuff it's stuff is always good. I don't. I got that for Christmas, so <laughs> just ages ago. So I don't know how much it is. Okay. Fifth March favorite is this Garnier hand cream. I got it from Superdrug. It was really cheap. It was like half off. I got the other one, didn't I? Um, the SOS yeah. one. That's really good for yeah. really dry hands. So she got the SOS one. I got the hand cream soothing. Skin is still hydrated after washing. It's for dry, delicate hands. And it is another of my favourite smells in the world. It is El Biftus and Honey. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it reminds me of holiday and like sun cream. Well, not sun cream. It reminds me of holiday. <laughs> I love it. And it just makes your hands like amazingly smooth. Like I find it really hard to keep my hands moisturised all the time. And this it's quite, is one of the and it feels quite greasy when on, but also, it dries. I quickly. love the colour of the packaging. That's that is my favourite colour. That like minty green. It's nice, yeah, I like it. My five. Okay, um sixth. <laughs> Sixth March favourite has been this E45 cream. I know it's more like a, I don't know, not medical, but it's not like makeup or beauty or anything. It's just um, moisturising cream. I've had like really dry patches of skin on my face, especially above my eyes, and I've tried so many moisturisers, and this is the only thing that seems to work. E45 cream, I don't know, you can get it from any like drugstore or pharmacy, store, yeah. I, or the supermarket. <laughs> Um, it's just really intensive moisturiser basically, and I find it's the, one of the only things that works for like my really dry patches of skin. So yeah, on my face that is. Um, ER. And then last thing, the seventh thing before we move on to makeup products, is um, natural porridge oats, which Shannon suggested to me. And I just keep it in this jar. Because um, I normally use it yeah. to wash my face, because when my face is feeling a bit dry, like not really nice, I just um, use it, I just make it damp and then scrub all over my face and, you know, rinse off and just make sure face, it just leaves your face feeling really nice and soft and moisturised. It really works amazing, basically. Yeah, these are just like natural that. porridge oats things. that you can buy in any supermarket, basically. Um, yeah, so Shannon suggested it to me, I didn't, I didn't believe a word she said. <laughs> Um, but I've been using it for a week now, I had a little test, and it's left my skin amazingly soft and moisturised. Basically what you do, you get it, you get like a little bit in your hand, you put it in the water. Like, but you have to squeeze yeah, to make sure squeeze all, all the water goes out, and then just rub it all over your face, and then wash it off with water, and then you can feel it as you put it on, yeah. it's like... Exfoliates it as well. It smells like porridge as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel um, like I'm making porridge on my face. <laughs> and because it's, it's just like the oats, oats, oats kind of like gently exfoliate your skin so it won't harm any like sensitive yeah. skin. Cause I and it has, skin. you know I said about the dry patch on my face, along with that and the E45 cream they've gone, practically gone. Which I'm really glad about. Okay, finally moving on to makeup products. Um, first is this Topshop blush. I have it in oh, you like that. high five. I love the colour. It's really vibrant. It's really, really pink. I've got on my cheeks today. It's really nice. It's got a little mirror. I love the packaging. Topshop mm. makeup just comes in the nicest packaging ever. So cute. Like quirky. Um, it's got a little mirror in it. Like I said, it's in high five. And it's just really amazing colour for your cheeks. Really nice for spring. Really pigmented. Yeah. And it's just really nice if you it's want... It's a cream blush as yeah. well. And if you want like more of like a natural look, then cream blushes are the way to go because they just don't look very powdery on the skin. It's just really nice and it easy to It goes on apply. really easily because it's a cream blush. Okay, I don't know how what number this is, but this next makeup product is my March favourite. Is the Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown is possibly my favourite brand of makeup ever. Um, I have both. I have both the corrector and the creamy concealer. I have the corrector in light to medium bisque. I remember recommending this product to Harriet because she always like saying how her under eyes have quite yeah. a dark circles so she wanted something to sort of banish them so we went to the department store and first of all they quite they tried on the corrector and it kind of just corrected the, the blue tones on the eyes that you normally under get. Under my eyes yeah. I have very dark And then they circles. applied the concealer on top and what this does is just hide the salmon tones that the corrector has and that will just completely like cover the under <laughs> eyes. It was circles. literally a miracle wasn't yeah. it? We were, still we were like, so excited. <gasps> oh my goodness and I have the creamy concealer in Beige, oh, focus. And if you don't have oh that bad under eye circles, then you could just buy the concealer and apply it underneath. It's really yeah. nice and creamy, but it does crease. So, oh, because it's so creamy, it creases. Like... So, you have to make sure that you powder underneath. 
Okay, so the concealer is kind of like a really salmony kind of colour. That it's really cute. Yeah, this is the corrector. It's really cute packaging with a little mirror again. And then the concealer has. It's really creamy. As it says, creamy concealer. <laughs> it's more like beigey colour with a little mirror as well. They're really tiny. Um, and they have lasted. I've had the correct twice just because it works so well on my dark under eye circles. Um, I've had this. This is the second time I've bought this. We had a haul um, on it and then we yeah. said that Harry bought it. I think it was last year. Yeah, they do last a long Similar time. Similar time this year. I don't use it every day because I don't want it to run out. Um, but they have lasted me at least four or three months now, which is amazing for such a little compact thing. Mm. Um, last makeup product is the Rimmel Match Perfection Gel um, Gel Cream Foundation, which um, well we're at the we we're at Superdrug actually, yeah. and Harriet wanted to find a foundation that was moisturising. I wanted like a cream. You wanted foundation. a cream one, yeah. but she already had like the one that she wanted, so I thought why don't you try a different one? So I recommended this product from Rimmel. Gel foundations are really good for dry skin, just because they don't dry out. And I use a gel-based moisturiser, and that works yeah. really well for my skin. It's quite a large pot, but there is not much in it, and I haven't been using it for yeah, that long. I didn't love that much. Um, how when I got it, it, it wasn't full up to the top. I'm not sure how many... Um, Let's say grams. 18 millilitres oh. it was meant to be, but... Eight, oh, compared to how big the top are... is, and it hasn't lasted long, I've, um... I'm not sure how many months I've had it now. Two, one no, month, maybe. maybe sorry, four and it's months. run out quite quickly. I, my shade was 100 ivory. I'm guessing it would run out quite quickly though, because the average amount of foundation yeah. is 30 ml, so that's. And that was quite only 18, low. but I have used it quite a lot. And, and it was it's quite still cheap. there, it still lasted. But it's really good, it's moisturising, it doesn't dry out your skin. And I have fairly normal to dry skin. Mm. Oh, very last thing in my March favourites was this nail polish. Oh, Hallelujah, look at it sparkle. Oh, it's so pretty. I have it a little bit on my nails. It's from H&M. I've got one um, nail. I don't know, does it have a name? It's called... I think it's nice, better for like, sort of winter party seasons. But yeah, I prefer it for like that well, kind of seasons. Well, basically, we saw my friend, I bought my friend the Urban Outfitters Glitz Nail Polish for Christmas, and then I've wanted some ever since. So, mm. Shannon spotted this and I just had to have it from H&M. I love the top! And is the nail polish applicator. Oh, so pretty and glittery. Yay. I love it. I can't wait to put it on. Everything. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it was £3 from H&M, just glittery. I'll, like, put a colour underneath and then I'll put the glitter on top. It's really clumpy, so you have to, like, clump it on yeah, your fingers, but it's cool. ages to run. So that is everything from my March favourites. I yep. hope you enjoyed and liked all the products. They are amazing products. That are my favourite. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so thank you for watching and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. See ya.